Hey guys and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. In today's video we are going over the new animation retargeting system inside of Unreal Engine 5. If you tried this you may be aware that the system in Unreal Engine 4 is now gone, it's obsolete, it doesn't work anymore. They've now changed it to a new version which is a little bit more complicated to learn but it does give you a lot more different options and customization for the animations as well so you can get better things. It's just a bit more effort and a bit of a longer system to do. However, they have said in the future they are going to be continuing to update this to improve the workflow of this so it's a lot better to use. But for the moment, this is what we've got. So as you can see, these are the animations which I've retargeted. I've gone from the export on the left, which is from Mixmo, to the mannequin on the right, which is in Unreal by default. Now, the reason it might look a little bit clanky and not amazing is just because I've not done every single bone for this example. I've just done the main ones to get the basic point across. You can obviously do more bones to get it more detailed. The only reason I've not done it is because again, is because again, it takes a bit of a while to do. However, once you've done it once, you you don't need to do it again for every single animation. So it's just a one-time setup. But again, I didn't go through the whole process, but I will be showing you how to do it, and it's the exact same for each one, so you will understand and learn how to do it. But anyway, that's quite a long introduction. So without further ado, let me delete this code, and I'll show you how I've done it. So the first thing you want to do is you obviously want to import the animations which you're going to be using, but I imagine you've probably already done that. So if I go to control space here, you can see I've got this animation from Mixmo on the export character as well. Now if you want to learn how to import custom characters and animations from Mixmo into Unreal Engine 5, I do have a video linked in the description down below and on screen now where you can learn how to do that. But I'm going to close this and we're going to start the code. So what you want to do is press control space to open up your content browser. First thing we want to do now is we want to create an IK rig for our character. So it doesn't matter if you're not using IK, I'm not going to be in this video either, but we need to create an IK rig as it is an IK retargeter. So what we're gonna do is right click, go to animation, and create an IK rig down here. Now we want to choose the skeleton mesh which we want this rig for. I want it to be the export here, and I'm gonna name this one export IK rig, like so, opening that up straight away. We're going to start off just by saving it and in here you can see this is a bit similar so we have the hierarchy of the bones down here and on the right we have different settings for just viewing it here however the difference is we're not going to be matching these bones from this skeleton to the bones on the new skeleton what we're doing is matching chains which is a chain of bones so instead of it just being the spine it's going to be the spine down to spine two for example so it gets all three instead of just one which is why it makes it more efficient and it looks a lot better once you actually do all of the bones because it gets all of them instead of just one. So we're going to be starting off by adding in these new chains for this export. So I'm going to add new chain here. I'm going to name this one spine. Actually we'll start with the head, sorry, so I'll name this one head. The start bone is going to be the neck, end bone going to be the head. The IK goal, if you're doing IK you can set that, but obviously I'm not doing IK so I don't have anything to put in there. I'm then going to add a new chain with this one being spine. And I'm going to have the start bone being spine 1, or being spine, sorry, I do have just spine, and the end bone being spine 2. So this might be different for you depending on the bone names for you. However, if you're doing mix mode, they should all be the same. Obviously, just do it for whatever works best for your naming system on your bones. But again, you can see we now have the whole chain of bones instead of just one, which again is why it's a lot better. Next, I'm going to add a new chain with this one being arm L for the left arm starting at left shoulder, ending at left hand. Then what you can do is you can then also do the hand and the individual fingers as well. So you can add a new chain with this being the index fingers, middle finger, all of that. I'm not doing those, which is again why it's not gonna look fantastic, but obviously if you go through the time and effort to do that, it will look a lot better for you. It's the exact same process. So what I'm actually gonna do instead is now just go straight to arm R for the right arm, starting at right shoulder, ending at right hand, like so. If we find right hand down here, there it is, <laughs> couldn't find it. And the last ones I'm gonna do are the legs. So add new chain, leg, L, starting at the left up leg, I believe it's called, yes it is, left up leg, ending at just left foot. Then add a new chain once again, leg, R, the same thing, right up leg and then right foot. We can save that. So now we've got the bone chain set up. These are the main ones which I need and again you can do the hands and the fingers as well if you want 
but I'm not going to do that today just for the timing of the tutorial. Now the final thing we want to do in here is we want to make sure we define the root bone of this skeleton. Now because it's from Mixmo it doesn't actually have a specific root bone but it kind of does so we're going to use the hips instead. So you can right click on hips or whatever bone you want but it should just be the one at the very top here and we're going to set retarget root like so. Now we can save and this is now our IK rig set up for the export character. We can minimize this, control space and I'm going to create a new one. And this is going to be for the skeleton I want to retarget to. So we've made one retargeting from, we want another one retargeting to. It doesn't matter which order you do it in, but that's just what I'm doing. So I'm also going to keep it where it should be. So I'm going to go to content, characters, mannequins, meshes, and I'm going to do it in here. Right click, animation, IK rig. This one is going to be for SKM Quinn, as that's what I'm using. And I'm going to name this one Quinn IK rig the naming system doesn't matter too much but obviously that makes sense and we're going to open this up and do the exact same thing so once again we're going to do the add new chains making sure they're named the same so if we add a new chain here the first one i did was head now the name doesn't have to be the same but if you do do it the same then it will automatically assign them together in the next step of this process so i would recommend making sure they've got the same names the start bone for this one is going to be neck 01 end bone going to be head Add new chain, spine, start bone this time is going to be spine 01, end bone spine 05. So again, this is why we now have a lot more bones here, which is why the chain is better than just per bone, which it was in UE4. Then we'll add a new chain again, the next one being arm L, going from clavicle L to hand L, like so. Add new chain, arm R, going from clavicle R, should be down here, I might have gone past it actually, uh, clavicle R, there it is, down to arm, or hand R, sorry. Add new chain, this one, leg L, oh, I'm not actually naming it, leg L there. This one is going to go from thigh L, so this one's right at the bottom, I believe. Thigh L, and the stopping point of this one is actually only going to be foot L. So don't worry about everything else down here. If you do those, it won't look too good because a lot of these are kind of IK, which again, I'm not doing. So just foot L there. Then finally, last but not least, the last chain will be leg R, doing the exact same thing. So thigh R, here we go, ending with foot R, simply like so. Then we're gonna right click on the root in hierarchy and set retarget root. And actually, sorry, what I found out was for this particular skeleton, the pelvis works better as the retarget root instead of the root. Now, I don't know whether that's just because of this skeleton or whether it's specifically for Mixmo and this skeleton, I'm not sure, but for me, the pelvis worked out better than the root itself. That might be because I was using hips on the other one. So if something looks a little bit odd, the root motion isn't working, it's not moving how it should, just change the root bone here, and you'll know what I mean by not moving how it should in a moment's time. So we'll save that, and now we've got our IK rigs set up for our different skeletons which we want to use. So we're going to minimize this, and the next step is we want to actually create our IK retargeter now. So what I'm going to do is go back to my export character here. I'm just going to do it in this bit. So what I'll do is I'll move this just to there as well, just keep it nice and organized. Then in here, I'm going to right click, go to animation, and I'm going to create an IK retargeter. Now, as you'll see here, this is pick IK rig to copy animation from. So I want to copy animations from the export to Quinn. So I'm going to choose export IK rig here, and I'm going to name this one export IK retargeter, or just retarget, like so, opening it up straight away. Now in here, you can see we have our export here. So the source IK rig asset you can't change because that's what we just set up when creating it. And the target IK rig asset is what we want to retarget two. I want that to be my new Quinn IK rig which I just set up and now you can see it next to it here like so. If you want to move them about you can change the offset here, you can also change the scale if you want to for some reason but I'm going to leave them as default like so. You can also change the target preview mesh if you want as well so you can change it to the export for some reason if you wanted or leave it as the correct one like so. So the reason why that would be good is if you have the same skeleton but different meshes on that skeleton you can see what it's going to look like with different meshes on a certain skeleton. 
But one thing you'll notice is they have different poses. And now, if you might remember from Unreal Engine 4, it's very important they have the same pose when retargeting. That's also important in Unreal Engine 5. But instead of having to change it in the skeleton, we can change it in this retargeter here. So we're going to go to Edit Pose at the top, select the shoulder, and just rotate and move it up to be in the position which we want it to be in, like so. Simple as that. I can click Edit Pose, and now it's in the right position which we want. So I might now actually move it over slightly, let's say 160, maybe even 180, not 280, sorry, 180, and that looks a little bit better, like so. Now if we go to chain mapping, you'll notice it should have done it automatically for you. So spine goes to spine, head, head, so on and so forth, because I've given them the same names. If it's not done that, you can press auto map chains and it should do it. However, if that still doesn't work because you've got different names, you can just click on it and select the one which you want and you need, like so. Once this is all set up, go to the asset browser, double click on an animation and you can now preview what the animation is going to look like, like so, and so you'll notice this is now working perfectly for me. Again, the hands and fingers will look a lot better if I spent the time on actually creating those chain mappings, but I didn't quite have time. And what I was mentioning earlier with the roots not working is if I just set this just to root, you want to see what I mean. So if I save that, go back, the root motion isn't working perfectly, it's kind of moving a little bit weirdly, so you just change it to a different retarget root there, and now this is working perfectly like so. And you can obviously untick retarget root if you want it to be in place, and you can obviously change the FK and IK as well if that's what you wanted. You can really customize this however much you want. Once you're happy with the animation, you can click on export selected animations and place this where you want, so it in export, animations, okay. Perfectly like so. And you don't need to open this every single time, you can still do the same thing in Unreal Engine 4, open up the animation, right click on it, retarget animation assets, duplicate, and do the same thing. Choose your IK retargeter, so mine is the export IK retarget like so, you notice the poses are the same, and it should have automatically done that, and then we can just retarget where we want, perfectly like so. And I'll place these in the level again just to show you it working. But I think that will be it for this video as we've done everything we've wanted to do today. So what we've done is we've set up two different IK rigs for our different characters. And we've also set up and created an IK retargeter. So we can now also retarget our animations from one skeleton to another. In my example, it's from Mixmo to the default mannequin. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you found it helpful. Make sure to like and subscribe down below. And I know this is a bit of a more lengthy way of doing it. But again, it does allow you to be more efficient in the way which we do now retarget animations. Again, I hope you did enjoy this video, and if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.